with the singing of tonight's national anthem. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. On this very special day, let me be the first to wish everyone out there a happy Veterans Day. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, our reporter. And here's what the schedule for the Oklahoma City Thunder looks like. On Wednesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then Friday, they'll be facing Bradley Beal and the Phoenix Suns. And for their matchup with the Spurs, it's going to be a good challenge for them. Even though they expect to win, it could probably go either way, depending on how well they play. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. James Harden out there with Chris Dunn. And it's Zubats in at the five down low. And for Oklahoma City, Caruso and Williams make up the perimeter. Chad Holmgren out there with Williams. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at point. A battle of the big men. Grab some popcorn for this faceoff at the center position tonight, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. I mean, these bigs bring the size and skill. Who has more tools in their toolkit? I mean, we're about to find out. Let's remember that at six foot six, Shea Gilgis Alexander can more than handle himself near the cup. Out to the wing. Harden's got space. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Williams misses. Gilgis Alexander against Harden. To the inside. Here's Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Oh, my goodness. What a gritty finish from Zubats. Big fella. Okay. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Here's Caruso, defended by Dunn. Williams against Leonard. Pass to Holmgren. Uses the glass to finish the layup. It's so difficult to defend Holmgren inside. For such a young player, his body control and awareness are off the charts. Now here's Harden. 15 in his last outing. Zubats with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Leonard. Over Williams. And misses it off the right side of the rim. On the take. No good there. Great D that time from Zubats. The Clippers have gone two of three from the floor. Harden with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. The shot by Dunn, no good. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And currently, his numbers are incredible. Averaging almost 33 a game. Now that's an opportunistic three-point shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. He liked the look of it. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. I had a chance to catch up with Mark Dagnall. He feels good about their chances if they can prevent Kawhi Leonard from taking over. We're talking about a first ballot Hall of Famer who can score from all three levels and can take your best score out of the game. I asked him, so what's the plan? He said, survive. Thank you for that, Ali. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Rebounded by Dunn. 
Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Batum with a screen on Caruso. Batum outside. Let's a three fly. Drills it from deep. Now, Nick Batum does pre-shot preparation, so on the catch, he is ready to rise and fire. Caruso outside. Pass to Williams. Gilgis Alexander, a good look. Boy, clanks that one off the back iron, and it falls. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points in the game, and Ty Lu has called a timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. a chance to check out stats for Alex Caruso. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Now Harden. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Harden with a screen on Williams. Leonard inside. Working on Williams. Four on the clock. Harden can't hit. Well, the defender's stopping the developing fast break. That looks like a transition take foul. Oklahoma City shooting their first free throw of the night. Free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. What you love about Shea Gilgis Alexander is this young man's work ethic. He is a gym rat who's always looking for ways to improve. The Thunder have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Four three. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Zubats with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Leonard. Knocks it loose. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Leonard. And now let's take a look at the small forwards with the highest shooting percentages for the season. Number one, Jalen Williams. And we've seen how efficient he's been scoring the ball, not just gunning for threes, but also working it inside. Yeah, I mean, he is just as effective from any range. You're right. I mean, he's at the absolute top of that list because of the work he does to beat his man to the rim and finish at the bucket. Now here's Williams. He played a great game against Golden State. Caruso outside. Knocked away. And the defense got away with one there. I mean... That's the shot he typically makes. Harden drives in. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Now, James Harden, with the ability that he has, both from a smarts, IQ, and skill standpoint, nice drive right there. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Last time they met in Los Angeles, where they beat the Clippers. They came away with an easy win last time, due in large part to their work on the glass. I think there was no question they brought a level of physicality along with a tremendous work ethic, and it was why they were successful. Leonard finds Harden. Zubats with a screen on Caruso. Up top, Zubats. The three is up. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Thunder with a lead. Caruso outside. Pass to Holmgren. And here's Gilgis Alexander. Guarded by Batum. Caruso against Harden. Leonard outside. Back to Batum. Three-pointer. Can't hit. One for two now. 
for Oklahoma City. They've gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Sends it home from three-point land. A shot that Williams continues to work on. You love seeing these type of results. And Ty Lu has called a timeout. He wants to review the game plan. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You look at Oklahoma City, things stacking up nicely for them so far. Number one in their conference and looking formidable. And checking out the Clippers, they currently find themselves down in the bottom of the conference. When I look at the Clippers, just already digging a nice big hole for themselves. The season has become a nightmare that few people, if any, saw coming. They do have the talent necessary to get it turned around quickly. They won't want to wait too much longer to do it, but they can still make it a productive season. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Powell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Kill just Alexander, no good. Clippers trail by six. And here's Harden. Takes a three. The offensive rebound. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Yeah, Zubats knows his job, and that's to do the dirty work. Get into the offensive glass. We're just a few games into the new year, Doris. How important is it for a team to start off strong? I think, B.A., yeah, it's hugely important. What we've learned historically is that the first 20 games are a good indicator for success. And obviously, if you're younger, can your confidence waver if you get off to a tough start? Veterans can absorb it a little bit better. But to me, those first 20 games, big time important. Holmgren finds Caruso. Williams against Powell. With the 10-footer. Williams misses. Clippers trail by three. It's Powell on the wing. He's guarded by Caruso. Powell passes to Harden. Now here's Dunn. The D's right on him. The Thunder with the rebound. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, they really worked hard to find shots in that one. Some good play calls and energy on the offensive end. Well, give credit to a couple of their guys for their complete locked-in nature. They were just focused, and they made everything they looked at. Harden. That one drops. Three for six now. Oh, my goodness. What an elusive move by James Harden. Not only the ability to put it on the deck, but the ability to make that shot. That's tough. The Thunder have got 6 of 14 in so far. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Here's Holmgren. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Ivica Zubats. Oklahoma City shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. one falls for him. Well, you think about the size and skill set that should allow Chet Holmgren to be very good for a very long time. So for Oklahoma City, Hardenstein, he's checked in for Williams. Dort comes in for Caruso. And it's Wallace in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Both free throws good from Holmgren. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Outside Harden. Pass to Powell. Fires for three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. Powell can really shoot it from three. That's a great possession for this team. 
Now, here's Williams. And you look at the numbers, currently around 22 and a half points a game. Grab that one. However, so far, they're getting a little out-hustled on the boards. Hartenstein against Porter. Pass to Jones. Porter with a screen on Dort. Clock at six. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. The kick out to Williams. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. And seems really frustrated. Porter looks it over. Powell, left side. Pass to Jones. Shoots over Holmgren. Jones misses. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. To the wing on the left. Wallace outside. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Again, the miss by Williams. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Hartenstein. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. To the left side wing from deep. Holmgren. The rebound by Bamba. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Harden from outside. Now shooting 50% for the game. He's four for eight. Well, James Harden, a sniper through and through. You give him even a little sliver of daylight and that ball is gone. Thunder trail by five. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian, the Thunder have some grit. Coach Mark Dagnall said we compete, and on nights we aren't, we get back to that very quickly. The competition level and the willingness to do it together is the foundational piece. Brian? All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Fifty-two seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Good work defensively by Hartenstein. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Wallace misses. Los Angeles leading by five. Here's Jones. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's his first trip to the line. off. A different look for Oklahoma City. Williams is checked in for Chet Holmgren. Wiggins comes in for Williams. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Wallace. And the second free throw is good. 32 seconds left in the first quarter here. Pass to Hartenstein. Porter against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Dort. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Just five to shoot. Hartenstein with a screen on Porter to stop the drought. And Hartenstein slams it in. Well, there's a craftiness to the play of Shea Gilgis Alexander. Shifts the defense around to get his teammate an open look. Harden fires away from outside, and the Clippers miss again. James Harden, he's been the guy making things happen for Los Angeles. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We'll be back in a moment.
And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Well, I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. And the Clippers have possession. Four-point game. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Powell and Kawhi in at the forward spots. Terrence Mann is out there with Kevin Porter. And it's Bamba in at the center position. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And making the shot while getting fouled. I mean, it's about focus. KPJ staying with it. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. All right, guys, we're lucky to have Shams Sharania joining us now. Our 2K insider calling in with a story. What do you got, Shams? Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shined bright in the City of Lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. What a performance. Shams Sharania with the report. Thanks, Shams. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Here's Dort. Still no points. No good on the quick three. Outside man. Oklahoma City grabs a miss. Hilgis Alexander with the ball. Now Porter defending. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Gilgis Alexander's got 14 points for the game. Boy, this guy is an absolute force of nature on the offensive end. SGA, I don't know what the defense is going to do with you. Pass to Leonard. Porter, the pass to Leonard. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Gilgis Alexander against Porter. Williams, a screen on Porter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, the determination from Gilgis Alexander. He's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. The Clippers lead by five. Leonard looking over the floor. Pass to Bamba. Back to Leonard. For three. Oh, tough, gritty three ball from the claw. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Up top, Hartenstein. Back to Wiggins. Fade away. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Leonard outside. Bamba, the screen on Williams. Pass to Bamba. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Thunder trail by eight. Dort outside. Wiggins outside. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. Takes the three. Great touch from deep, Gilgis Alexander. He nailed two from distance in the opening period. Now gets this one. And Ty Lu has called a timeout. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. And for all the purists, here's a look at the best free throw shooting teams from the stripe this year. The Thunder fourth. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. 
Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all costs. Los Angeles leading by five. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. And the Clippers miss again. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Leonard. Porter, the pass to Leonard. To the paint. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Boy, you better keep the seven-footer Mo Bamba away from the cup. What an easy finish. And Mark Dagnall has called a timeout. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Chad Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Caruso comes in for Wiggins. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. Dunn comes in for Mann. Thunder trail by seven. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. Oh boy, how slippery is SGA on the triple drive? Just so difficult to stay in front of him. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Zubox with a screen on Hartenstein. Ooh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. It's Dort on the wing. Pass to Caruso. Outside for Dort. Powell with a steal. Los Angeles leading by five. Zubac finds Powell. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And so he hits the technical free throw. What you love about Norman Powell historically is he knows his role is professional scorer. Here's Porter. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Powell outside. Pass to Leonard. Shot clock at six. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. Porter against Gilgis Alexander. Hartenstein. Second shot opportunity. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubac has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Powell driving to the basket. How about that vertical from Norman Powell off the deck? Give him a window to drive it and finish. Yes, sir. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. And here's Holmgren. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. And the three-pointer goes. Gilgis Alexander's got 24 points. They're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. Los Angeles leading by five. Porter with it. Pass to Leonard. Back to Porter. Five on the clock. Powell with it from the arc. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Powell's got nine. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Oklahoma City's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Gilgis Alexander against Subas. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Hardenstein against Porter. Leonard, left side. Over Gilgis Alexander. No good off the back of the rim. Thunder trail by six. Hartenstein finds Gilgis Alexander. And there's Caruso. That one's good. On the assist from Gilgis Alexander. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but 
they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. The Clippers have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Pass to Leonard. Oh, got a piece of it. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Jalen Williams comes in for Dort. Batum has checked in for Los Angeles. Harden comes in for Porter Jr. Three-pointer, Harden. Oklahoma City grabs a miss. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. Zubats with a screen on Williams. Zubats high post. Shoots over Caruso. Yep, it finally drops after rolling around the rim. He's got seven. Well, Zubats can hit that shot from time to time. You gotta contest his mid-range. Outside, Williams. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Nick Batum. Oklahoma City shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First free throw is good. Norman Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. That one's no good. And it's Powell with the ball for Los Angeles. Leading by five. Outside Harden. From outside the arc. Williams grabs the board. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. And Chris Dunn gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Wiggins, he's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. Caruso against Harden. Elbow shot on the way. Caruso misses. The Clippers lead by five. Dunn left side. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds now. Pass to Williams. Outside, Williams. Shoots over Powell. Williams misses. For Los Angeles, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Harden finds Batum. Back to Harden. Now here's Dunn. Powell outside. Puts up a three. Here's Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Well, Zubats always around the rim. You love the quick strike there. Thunder trail by seven. Now here's Williams. Wiggins looking around. Inside. It's tipped. Done with it. Now Wiggins defending to the middle. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. So it's Oklahoma City now. Following the score by the Clippers. And it's Holmgren missing. Williams against Batum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. This guy's so clever at getting defenders to bite. Nicholas Batum draws the contact. 
And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Shoot Clippers? Two. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. And he makes a first. They've been knocked down from the line this quarter, trying to build out their lead. And the Clippers making a change here. Man's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. One of the things I admire most about Nick Batum is how consistently he gives effort through 48 minutes. Plays with his head in the game and giving his all-out effort every play. Wiggins outside. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Clippers. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. That's a game they know they probably could have won. And had a few more things gone their way, they would have. You know what? The stats certainly looked good. But the fact of the matter is they couldn't deliver in the clutch moments. And that's something you've got to figure out moving forward. Batum, the pass to Zubac. Back to Batum. Harden surveying the D. Harden with a screen on Williams. Done with it. Guarded now by Williams. Thunder trail by 14. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Chet Holmgren makes up for his light frame with aggression. He said, quote, you don't have to take a second look at me now to know that I'm not the biggest dude width-wise, so I have to hit first. Otherwise, the game's not going to go in my favor when things get physical, unquote. Brian, you agree? I do, and you can tell he just refuses to back down, Allie. Now here's Batum. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. They're not leaving any points at the free throw line this quarter. That's the best way to protect the lead. They need something time good out, to out. happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Started. And Mark Dagnall has called a timeout. He wants to give them a breather and talk things over. And now we have a minute here to take a look at which teams are playing the toughest defense. Oklahoma City, second. Where this team really makes an impact is on the defensive end. They're a unified front that doesn't make it easy at all to find open looks. We've got 128 left in the first half of this one. The floater... The shot, no good. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Now Harden. He's got 12. Batum outside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And drawing the whistle, Batum. Just a veteran play. This is his second trip to the free throw line in this one. And he drops a first. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And whether he's starting or coming off the bench, Batum does what is asked of him. He's the definition of a quality role player. 
Wiggins outside. Back to Williams. On the wing, Caruso. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Zubats. And another miss by Oklahoma City. How many shots has he missed this quarter? Might be time to find offense elsewhere. Three-pointer, Harden. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got five rebounds in the game. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Wiggins. To stop the run. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. He shoots. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. And the Clippers lead by 20. And so it's Los Angeles. They have a confident 20-point lead right now. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, play the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Los Angeles Clippers. Vintage teamwork right there tonight. Everyone is looking to be the setup guy. Yeah, when anyone could be the next to score, the defense can't tell what's coming. And the ball is certainly finding the open man. And changing it up, my favorite segment, social media posts. A question here from Miss 3 Purdy. Would you guys like to see the addition of a five-point line? No. I get why people ask, but it would just be a distraction, you know, and, and wasted shots. I think we should increase points for dunks. Those should also be three-pointers. Imagine what my scoring would be right now. Oh, what a... Uh... What a surprise that you would want that kind of a rule change, but not going to happen. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. Here's Leonard. Shea and Caruso are the backcourt pair. Williams is out there with Jalen Williams. And it's Holmgren in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. He goes up and slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Now this is about knowing where to be in these situations. And Gilgis Alexander doing a beautiful job getting to the right spot. And so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for the LA Clippers. Pass to Zubats. Harden against Gilgis Alexander. And it's Harden. That time on the assist by Zubats. Harden's got 14 points. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 
After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Woohoo! That's the athleticism we've talked about with Jalen Williams. This guy can get off his feet in a hurry. Los Angeles leading by 18. About a minute played here in the second half. Here's the pick. Here's Leonard. Zubats. The Thunder with the rebound. Holmgren's got six rebounds in the game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Caruso. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Overdone. And Gilgis Alexander missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Gilgis Alexander against Harden. Here's Leonard. Shoots over Holmgren. Here's Zubats. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. Yeah, that's Zubats just carving out space with that big frame. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Pass to Holmgren. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Zubats has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Harden against Gilgis Alexander. Leonard outside. Batum outside. Five to shoot. Launches it. Leonard can't get that one to fall. Thunder trail by 20. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Williams. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Now here's Gilgis Alexander, defended by Dunn. Out left to the wing. Holmgren finds Williams. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's gotten four this quarter. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. And Ty Lue has called a timeout. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. And here are the Clippers now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Williams against Leonard. Batum right side. The three. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got his third assist of the night. You can't allow Nicholas Batum a free look from three. This guy is a knockdown shooter. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Williams passes to Holmgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Sinks that one from the post. Gilgis Alexander's got 32 points. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They're definitely not losing because of him. The Clippers lead by 19. And here's Harden. He's got 14. Pass to Leonard. Over Williams. Leonard can't get it to go. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. And Gilgis Alexander missing. The Clippers have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. And here's Zubats. 
Batum outside. Up top, Harden. Over Gilgis Alexander. Harden, good. Harden's got four points now in the quarter. And James Harden simply stated is putting it to the defense right now. Somebody has got to step up and get the ball out of his hands. To the left wing. Back to Gilgis Alexander. The kick out to Williams. Goes up at the elbow. And that one's good. Williams has got seven points. And very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays. But that's been their preferred way of finding points. Pass to Dunn. Back to Leonard. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Caruso, right side. Now Williams. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Chris Dunn. What I love about Jalen Williams, he makes his presence felt on the game. Athleticism, tireless work ethic, and offensive skills that are just blossoming with each repetition. The free throw drops for Williams. Oklahoma City making a switch here. Hartenstein's checked in. Powell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Good on both. Here's Dunn, averaging around five points a game. Powell, a screen on Caruso. Dunn, the pass to Powell. Leonard against Williams. Clock at six. Leonard, good. Nine points in the game. Just incredible touch from the interior. Kawhi Leonard more than capable in that painted area. Thunder trail by 19. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by the Clippers. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Harden against Gilgis Alexander. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Back to Harden. Now here's Leonard. Shoots over Hartenstein. Shot by Leonard, no good. Williams against Powell. Down low. Here's Holmgren. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Holmgren's got six points. Well, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Pass to Zubats. Done left side. Now Leonard. Six to shoot. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Holmgren's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Now here's Caruso. He's guarded closely. You know, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. Here's Dunn. Banked it in off the glass. And the Clippers lead by 19. Boy, how much do you appreciate Chris Dunn working hard inside to come away with these easy interior buckets? The Thunder have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Harden against Hartenstein. Pass to Holmgren. Outside, Williams. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Williams has got eight here in this quarter. And he is stronger than he looks, trust me. I mean, Williams has the bulk to win those tough battles inside. So it's Los Angeles now. Leonard with the ball. Nine points in the game. With the teardrop. 
And it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. And we've got a timeout, timeout, timeout called by Mark Dagno. I think right now he Mark, must be looking at some adjustments. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. So for Oklahoma City, Dort comes in for Holmgren, and it's Wiggins in for Gilgis Alexander. Bombas checked in for the Clippers. Jones comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Thunder trail by 17. Now here's Caruso. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. That is a combination of length and defensive instincts. Send it back, Mo Bamba. I'd like to see them run more plays for him. Maybe something in motion to make it harder for the defense to deny the ball. Pass to Powell. Back to Harden. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Harden's got 18. One of the great NBA players one-on-one -on -one in the history of the game, James Harden, has got a rhythm, and that's trouble. And it's Dort with the ball for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Well, Doris, you won't find too many players that can provide the instant spark that Powell does. Brian, you know that expression, know your role and star in your role. Norman Powell knows my job is to come in and give my team a boost. And this guy comes in thinking score and change the game and does just that. Wiggins right side over Powell. Wiggins no good. Los Angeles leading by 16. Now Harden. He's got 18. Pass to Bamba. Back to Harden. Now here's Powell. Dort defending. Six on the shot clock. Fires it from 18. Powell's shot is off. Oklahoma City has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bamba. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Wallace, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. There's a minute 54 left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Williams. From deep. Gets the three to fall. Williams has got 11 in the second half. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. A minute 39 left to play in the third quarter. Bamba, a screen on Dort. Powell passes to Jones. Dort with a steal. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. And the free throw, no good. What we know about Lou Dort is this guy is an excellent defender. He's got size, strength, versatility. You can basically throw him at the other team's best offensive weapon night after night. Here's Wallace. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. That'll definitely steal away some momentum. Stripping them of the ball and then grabbing the bucket. The Clippers lead by nine. Pass to Harden. Here he goes. And he converts the layup. Harden's got eight here in this quarter. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Jones against Wiggins. Here's Hardenstein. Rebounded by Dunn. 
Dunn's got four rebounds now. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Three-pointer, Harden. That shot off. Good D by Wallace. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Jones with the block. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It goes on Chris Dunn. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Quarter against Hartenstein. Bamba, a screen on Hartenstein. Quarter, the pass to Bamba. And there's the rejection. James Harden. He's been the guy making things happen for the Clippers. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Powell and Kawhi in at the forward spots. Kevin Porter is out there with Terrence Mann. And it's Bamba in at the five. Now here's Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Porter against Hartenstein. Leonard for three. The rebound by Wiggins. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. And it's good for two. And, and they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Los Angeles leading by eight. And here's Mann. Pass to Leonard. Tries to break his ice. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Oh, man, is Kawhi Leonard a tough cover. Just so good at drawing contact. The free throw drops for Leonard. can't hit the second. Watching Kawhi enter the league as a lockdown defender and now become an all-around champion. Boy, what a career he has had. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. SGA just powering through contact. And he's coming off a huge performance and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that too. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And such a threat with the basketball. Porter Jr. gets those fouls often. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. 
they've also been scoring on the break. With how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court, any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Porter hits them both. The last pick of the first round in 2019, Porter Jr. plays with a chip on his shoulder. I love the competitive attitude. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Wiggins outside. Here's Dort. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Leonard's got four rebounds in the game. Outside Porter. It's Powell on the wing. Pass to Leonard. Over Dort. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. You know, the mid-range is Kawhi's bread and butter. This guy can get to his spots and take whatever he wants. Powell with a steal. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Here's man. Wallace pulls it in. Thunder trail by 11. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on Norman Powell. Well, the tremendous length at the guard spot that Shea Gilgis Alexander presents is a problem for a lot of take defensive break. players. Two shots. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander has become a walking bucket, folks. This is now an elite NBA score. Oklahoma City making a switch here. Caruso is checked in. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Done. He's checked in for man. Now here's Powell. Done outside. Pass to Bamba. Shot clock at six. And here's Porter outside. Dort grabs the miss. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. 13 feet out. They get the rebound. With missed opportunities from the line this half, they're not doing themselves any favors. First one falls. Man, he's checked in four done. So he gets them both. Here's Leonard. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good and he'll go to the line. Well, Kawhi Leonard has zero fear. In fact, contact, it doesn't deter him at all. Topic is checked in for Wiggins. The free throw drops for Leonard. Well, the Thunder will be building a new arena, Doris, right across the street from their current home. Well, how exciting that the downtown arena is set to open in the 29-30 season with a 25-year lease. This secures the team's long-term future in Oklahoma City. And honestly, B.A., this fan base is so passionate, they deserve it. Boy, just great instincts with great length. Kawhi Leonard, since he entered the league, has been a tremendous defender. And it's Bamba finishing strong. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. Thunder trail by 13. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hartenstein. Pass to Caruso. Here's Topic. Hartenstein with a screen on Bamba. Four on the clock. Knocks it down from distance. Topic has got his first three points of the game. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Bamba, a screen on Hartenstein. Porter with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Stolen by Caruso. Knocked loose. Pass to Leonard. Over Topic. Oh, it's off. And they can't capitalize on the break. The Thunder have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. 
Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Hartenstein finds Gilgis Alexander. Clock at six. Back to Hartenstein. Dort for three. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Powell passes to Bamba. Buries it from three. Zero hesitation, guys. You just marvel at centers like Mo Bamba. The ability to knock down jumper after jumper. Thunder trail by 13. Pass to Topic. Hartenstein with a screen on Bamba. Here's Topic. And he gets it to go off the front iron. Topic has got five points now this quarter. The defense making it way too easy for him on that jump shot. He'll take that all night. Now Powell. Leonard with the ball. Oklahoma City grabs a miss. Gilgis Alexander's got his sixth rebound on the night. Dort with it. Now Porter defending. They grab their own miss. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Gilgis Alexander's got 39. Los Angeles leading by nine. Now here's Porter. Pass to Powell. The three is up. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Dort. The Thunder have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. And it's good. Two points. Well, Lou Dort sprints the floor, taking advantage of good defense by his teammate to get an easy opportunity. For Los Angeles, they've gone 4 for 10 in the fourth. Porter against Hartenstein. Porter, the pass to Bamba. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Porter's got his third assist of the night. It's been a dominant night for him, staying productive throughout. Thunder trail by nine. And we've got a timeout call by Mark Dagnall. He clearly wants to talk it over and make sure everyone is focused. So it's both teams making substitutions here. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. He told his players, we are right there, guys. This game is ours. Continue to work hard, and we will win this game. Okay, thanks, Allie. So it's Oklahoma City now. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. It's rebounded by Los Angeles. Batum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Done. The pass to Harden. Pass to Batum. Five on the clock. Here's Leonard. Over to the left wing. There's the three. Batum gets the bucket, and the Clippers lead by 12. This guy's been at it for a long time. The experience of Nick Batum showing right through that great contest by the defense. Back to Caruso. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, SGA right back at him. This has been a running theme for him. Hit a number of threes in the first half, now nails another. Gilgis Alexander against Harden. Done. The pass to Harden. Here's Zubats. Back to Harden. From behind the arc. Caruso grabs the board. Caruso's got six rebounds here tonight. It's stolen by Dunn. And they're running. Here's Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. I tell you, they've been leaning on Ivica Zubats offensively all night, and he has answered the call. Thunder trail by 11. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Oh, 
The teardrop. Another shot. Batum pulls it in. Batum's got five rebounds in the game. So it was just another day at the office for Mr. Harden, once again making his way to the foul line. Free throw, no good. James Harden brings tremendous versatility. He can score it. He can distribute. Whatever you need from him offensively, he can provide it. Good on the second one. And you look at the development of AI. How might it affect the league going forward, Doris? I think there's so much to be learned, Brian, about that exact thing, whether we are talking about the league or whether we're talking about society to a greater extent. As it relates to the league, how will teams employ it for scouting? Does it impact shot selection or player contracts? Maybe even the negotiation of the next CBA. The truth is, we really don't know. What we do know, it's coming fast. And the Clippers have possession. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Here's Leonard. Nice balance from Kawhi Leonard there. This is a small forward who, because he's 230 pounds, can hold his own down in the low post. That is nicely done. Pass to Caruso. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists in the game. And Ty Lu has called a timeout. He wants to make sure they're purposeful with the game plan. So it's Los Angeles now. Nine point game. Leonard inside. Williams defending. Leonard against Williams. Leonard passes to Zubac. Caruso outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Caruso. Six to shoot. Let's it fly from 18. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Caruso's got five points now in the quarter. When the defense gives you room, take it. Don't pass up the shot. Williams against Leonard. A minute 42 left in the game. Pass to Zubac. Outside for Harden. Goes back up. And the layup is up and in. Harden's got 11 in the second half. Uh, James Harden has made a living out of tough shot making. And I'll tell you, the defense pretty good right there. James Harden just better. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubac has got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Zubac with a screen on Caruso. Pass to Leonard. Over Williams. And the shot falls short that time. Oklahoma City has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Batum, pass to Dunn. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Caruso. Done with a steal. Pass to Harden. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Clippers lead by 11. And they knew it wasn't going to be easy to win on the road, but they've controlled the pace on this one. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. I hate to say it, 
but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. So it's Los Angeles picking up the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. James, congratulations on a big win. But I ask you this. Where does this team need to continue to grow? Uh, you know, our backbone, what we're going to rely on is our defense. And uh, it's on us now defensively to be able to lock up, be able to communicate, and be able to sustain it for full quarters. And once we get that at a high level and consistently, uh, this is going to be a problem. Thanks, James. Back to you. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. And time now to introduce our player of the game, James Harden.